okay now move on to the next program that design and implement the mod n synchronous up counter using jk flip flop for this can be done by using a del simulator the n can be anything first now i am taking n value is 5 for these 5 i am realizing for synchronous up counter the counter progress counting upwards in a natural binary sequence from count 0 0 to 1 0 0 because it's a mod 5 it should be count from 0 to 4 when the clock pulse will be apply in the stage 4 then we will be resetting to 0 0 for the next clock pulse you can try with both positive clock cycle and negative clock cycle also and it is a synchronous counter all the flip-flop clock at the same time is triggering for each flip-flop before each clock pulse the j and k input for each flip-flop must be correct at the same level the flip-flop goes to in this correct state Okay, this can be done by using the exaltation table of JK flip-flop. The exaltation table for the JK flip-flops, you can consider for this. Using that exaltation table, we can do for the mod 5. Then this mod 5 is contain both present state of the QC, QP, QA. And for the next state here also, the QC plus 1, QP plus 1, QA plus 1. Why we are taking for these two? 3 bit says because if you have to store mod 5 I required a 3 bit each bit to store we required one flip flop then for the 3 bit 3 flip flop A B C are the 3 flip flop I am using for these JK 3 flip flop the next set I am represented as QC plus 1 QB plus 1 and QA plus 1 ok then I have to find out what is the input for these uh, output state exercise table is nothing we have a output from using output you have to find out the input of those things we have to find out what is jckc jbkb and jaka now you have to write down for this is the state for for 0 to 4 if it is 0 0 the next state should be 0 0 1 if it is 0 0 1 the next state is what 2 the 2 the next state is 3 if it is 3 the next state is 4 then if it is 4 if you apply the clock pulse it will reset to what 0 0 because it's a mod 5 then once you write this table then you have to find out the input by using excitation table then you should be compared with the qc and qc plus 1 this both are 0 0 as per excitation table i can fill jc and kc value with 0 x then 0 0 again 0 x 0 0 0 x then compare qc is 0 qc plus is 1 i can write 1 x then 1 and 0 that is x1 the same way you have to call it jbkb ja ka also once these inputs are find outing you can apply a k map for all these six inputs then each k map you have to find out jc k map is jc is equal to qp qa kc k map is equal to 1 and J, J, jb is qa kb is equal to qa and ja is qc bar and ka is equal to 1 okay this is ja is qc bar okay now uh, using this pin configuration this is 7476 is dual jk flip flop okay this pin configuration you are using i already uploaded for the testing for 7476 video just go through that video then can come back to this video for uh, counter for uh, more five then i have to use two ic the, is the single ic i can use for the two flip flop ja and jb but i need one more flip flop then i had to use one more ic that is 7476 okay then we have the diagram for this mod 5 this is j a j b k j c this is a 3 ic for these 3 ic you have to connect it according to the values you are getting through the calculation part 
okay this is the first normal thing you have to do there is a common clock between all the flip flop that is for 1 to 6 and 6 to 1 you have to apply and there is a common between the preset and clear then connect all the preset button to VCC and all the clear button to VCC because I want to send active low input because of that I connected to both preset and clear should be 1 then you have to connect a normal ground and VCC the pin number 5 is VCC and pin number 13 is the ground you connected for the both the VCC the ground and VCC and second IC also connected ground and VCC next you have to connect according to the value calculated what is the value of JA as per the calculation JA should be what QC bar connect JA for the QC bar take the line from QC bar connected to JA and KA for the calculation part the KA should be 1 because of 1 you connected to VCC ok next move on to the JB JB you calculated as QA that means the output of the first flip flop the QA is connected to JB then what about KB the KB is also QA take the same line from the output of first flip flop will be connected to KB next you should be connected for JC the JC is QB and QA. See QB and QA. I required AND gate for this. Output of the first flip flop. Output of second flip flop. Connected together. Then that output will be passed on to JC. See I am taking one more AND gate. The AND gate IC is 7408. Then take the QA output. QB output connected for this. Output of this pin number 3 is connected to JC. Then you have to do the normal setting also. What is the normal setting? 7408IC. The pin number 7 is VC, uh, ground and pin number 14 per VCC. That also you have to finish up before testing for the NAND gate. Then what is KC? The KC according to your calculation is 1. Then that is connected to this one. Then you have to test for output. You take all the output line Q15 and q11 and qc for the 15 these three will be connected to the output port for checking if you apply a clock you can observe each clock pulse that the up count will be getting 0 1 2 3 4 when it is reaches 5 it will reset to what 0 okay that can be realized by using del simulator okay then you have to go to your del simulator from the Dell simulator you have to connect the IC then you could go to add IC take the IC the 7476 IC you have to take I require 2 IC again click on add IC and select the second one as 7476 then I require the one more NAND gate go to add IC then click on this you can 7408 AND gate okay then connected this one okay then you can finish for the NAND gate uh, normal pin number 7 is the ground and pin number 14 is for the VCC okay this is normal connection is over then you connect it to pin number 1 and 2 for QB and QA before that we are move on to that 7476 for first IC the first IC the clock number 1 will be connected to clock and the clock number 6 is also connected to the clock Okay, because the two clock pulse in the same diagram and the second one is also you can take the clock one pin number one will be connected to what clock the clock is over then you do the pin number two will connect it to VCC pin number two have to connect it see the diagram pin number two pin number seven in the same IC pin number two and pin number seven is connected to uh, VCC pin number two and take pin number 7 is VCC and the second IC pin number 2 is connected to VCC ok then see the diagram pin number 2 pin number 7 the second IC pin number 2 is also connected VCC for the preset and move on to the clear pin number 3 8 3 then connected pin number 3 is also VCC the same IC pin number 8 is also clear VCC and the second one pin number 3 will be connected to VCC ok now preset is also over clear is also over then clock is also over for both the IC 
now i have to do for the normal connection the ground and see the pin number the pin number 8 is for this is for we connected the vcc pin number 5 is for vcc and pin number 13 for the ground this is 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 for the ground okay now basic connection is over according to that diagram next our uh, preset is over clear is over clock is over then you can go give input for j a k a that pin number 4 is j a the j a is q c bar see this is the uh, pin number 4 the q c bar is the nothing but the second ic pin the second ic pin will be connected to q a then you can check what is the ic number for the q c the q c bar is pin number 14 the pin number 14 of the second ic connected to pin number 4 of the first ic the second ic pin number 14 this is the 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 that 14 will be connected to pin number 4 of this one J A is over and what about K A? The K A is V C C. Then what is the pin number? Pin number is sixteen. The pin number sixteen is this is connected to V C C. Now J A K A is over. Now move on to what is J B K B. See observe that what is J B? J B is a output of Q A. Then pin number fifteen is connected to pin number nine of same I C. Pin number fifteen. This is the eight pin number fifteen is connected to pin number nine. Pin number fifteen is connected to pin number nine of same IC. That is what I connected to what output of fifteen is connected to input for the second one. And what is KB? KB is also QA. Then pin number fifteen is also connected to pin number six. Then you take the pin number fifteen is connected to pin number. What is the pin number? The pin number for this is. 12 pin number 15 is connected to pin number 12 9 10 11 12 okay i connected what jb is also over now jb is over kb is also over next move on to the third ic the third ic what is jc jc is qb and qa because of that you take the and gate the and gate you have to connect it pin number 15 you take the line from the pin number 15 connected as and gate first one then what about uh, qb the qb output pin is what 11 take the pin from 11 this is what uh, 9 10 11 the 11 is connected to the and gate okay 12 13 is ground is over then pin number 3 is your qb qa that is connected to pin number 4 of the second i say this is what jc see as per the diagram jc is qb bar and qa what about kc that is pin number 16 is vcc pin number 16 you take from the second i say connected to what vcc because that value is 1 okay now third i say is also over jc over kc over jb kb ja k Okay, now I have to see your output line because of that you connected for the output port from the fifteen you connected to output port. This is for the fifteenth line. The fifteen connected to Q A. Then eleven is connected to Q B. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven is Q B. Again for the second I C is fifteen. The fifteen is connected to what? Q C. See the diagram. Fifteen, eleven, fifteen. Okay, this is uh, connected for this Q A Q B Q C. Okay, now check for all the connection is over. Now you can turn on your uh, I C the trainer kit. If there is any error, it will not on. You can check up now. See there is an error in that pin config. Please check your highlighting. See why it is see, the red line will get it. That means you are not connected the basic connection for the second one. What is the basic one? Pin number five is connected to the VCC. Pin number thirteen is connected to the ground. As per the circuit, I have to connect it. That is I missed. 
okay now if you power on the switch is on okay now i have to check for uh, if you apply a clock then input should be vary for that okay the restart your switching for each time then there is no input for this the input only the clock okay if you apply a clock you can observe the value from 0 0 to 1 okay see now if you apply clock 0 0 next is 0 1 the next is 3 the next clock pulse is 1 0 0 after 1 0 0 if you apply a clock it will be reset okay i will try once again for the running okay if you apply a clock is 0 0 if you add 1 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 the next clock pulse it is reset to 0 okay this for mod 5 counter okay thank you